The river Spain, Scotland runs 178 kilometers from source to sea. Join me on this solo canoe trip as I attempt to traverse 123 kilometers from Kingasi to Spey Bay over five nights of canoeing and wild camping. Dream campsites nestled in ancient forests await to be discovered, using both my hammock and tent to take advantage of the landscape. Look out for wildlife such as salmon swimming upstream to spawn, deer, herons, and the endangered freshwater pearl mussel. Fighting the elements of wind and rain along the way and navigating whitewater rapids and fallen trees will be part of the challenge. Alright guys, welcome back to another adventure. This is gonna be my biggest adventure I've ever attempted yet. It's 120 kilometers from here, Kingasi to Spey Bay and it should take me about five days, five nights. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ese, I love adventure. Please consider subscribing so you can stay tuned for more cool adventures. It's quite late, actually it's probably about 4.30 so I don't have much time until uh, the sun sets. Maybe we can make it to Loch Inch and maybe we can camp around that loch, that would be quite nice. The weather forecast for the trip is mixed, we're gonna have rain for sure. We got an absolutely gorgeous southwesterly wind right now. The direction is perfect. It's coming from the southwest, pushing us northeast. I'm just feeling so calm right now. This is so beautiful. These are the inch marshes. So peaceful. Soon the, the sound of the cars will fade away and all I hear is the sound of my paddle in the water. It's like a meditation, man. Okay, that was a stupid decision to run that one like that. The rapid is pointing straight into a tree. We don't run those. No. I feel pretty stupid, but you know, you live and you learn. So. potential camp spot there's the beach right there the river right there and you can have a fire there and put your hammock up there in the trees kind of hurts to pass on this one a little bit but I'm gonna continue right behind me are bird nests I forgot the type of bird that does this but I'll put it I'll describe it in the over here somewhere but um yeah if you can see along there all the little Holes or bird nests. We've got still two hours left of sunlight, more or less. Uh, plenty of time to get into camp and uh, set up something cozy for the night and maybe cook up some food. So listen to the silence, guys.
Okay, so I'm running out of light. I don't know what the time is, but it must be 6.37. There's still a pretty good fire thing there here, so I'm gonna take it while I have the chance. On some nice uh, old man's beard. So I'll put it in there, keep it warm. Hopefully it'll dry out a little bit and, and we won't need to look for tinder when we get to camp. Okay, so I found the spot for tonight. It's a little clearing over here, some uh, nice trees, strong trees to tie the hammock. I'm very glad I brought it because there is no tent spots here on this east side of the lake whatsoever. This place is all to myself. This whole side is obviously not very uh, tent friendly, so people are avoiding it, so all the better for me. So that didn't go according to plan. Uh, plenty of time to get into camp and uh, set up something cozy for the night and maybe um, completely ran out of light I messed up the setup of the hammock I picked two trees that were too far away shenanigans all over just gonna have a little bit of food bread with some hummus and uh, go to bed our progress for the day was this much I'll put it down here somewhere I'll see you guys in the morning so I can show you my setup with a little bit more light good night guys morning guys so it's about 8 a.m a little bit later than i wanted to sleep to but it was raining uh the whole night and i think the rain's just easing now so good time to make a break for it hammock did well in this location uh no flat ground so that's really useful just gonna have a quick breakfast and try to get on the water as soon as possible to try and make some big progress today let's do it Too, Mr. Swan. What? Yeah. What? I know. Bye, Mr. Swan. So a beautiful deer swimming across the water from the land to the to a little island in the river caught a little bit of it but um wow what a beautiful sight swimming so elegantly across the water
that looks dodgy that way. We'll take the safe route, guys. So the sun's come out a bit, so I think it's a good opportunity to go for a dip now and uh, clean myself. It's a bit of a shower, so let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that car is strong. Ooh. Now I feel like a million bucks. That's what I'm talking about. It's already 3.20 p.m. I don't want the camp set up to go like yesterday. We need to paddle, paddle, paddle now all the way to camp. Comes the rain again. <laughs> I'm a bit tired. The reward is gonna be that much sweeter, yes. Five o'clock sharp. I landed here in this little island. I came to check it out because on the map it looks strategically like a good place to stop. Check it out guys, not bad. This is quite homely. Feels nice, it's sheltered. Tons of firewood. Look at this, dead standing right there. Oh yeah, you can look, you can even break it off with your hand. Oh my goodness. Look at this opening here, guys. Wow. I just found the trail, a little trail from the water over there. I'm, I'm, my canoe somewhere up there. So I can canoe down here and then go this little trail. And there's my spot. This is an awesome dead birch. And uh, save up for the rest of the trip as well because I've been struggling to find good fire starters. Yes, and it's early. I have a chance to have a proper camp life, man.
That was an absolutely awesome day, good progress. I'll put the progress that we did somewhere here. I made a nice salad, we've got some cucumber, cherry tomatoes, red pepper, avocado, some broccoli. That's my dinner, that's my, my starter. Second course, I got some noodles. And for the third course, I'm gonna have some tofu uh, sausages. It's absolutely gorgeous here, guys. The smell, the noises. Ah, yes. So happy right now. Good morning, guys. Got a little bit cold. I think it dropped to like five Celsius. That's kind of the limit for this bag, in my opinion. So I had to put a few more layers. But other than that, it was a good night. What a way to wake up! Wow. This is gorgeous. Absolute heaven, look at this. Cheers guys, what a beautiful morning, couldn't ask for better, absolutely gorgeous, perfect, perfect weather. Super windy, just letting the wind do the work really. Morning. It's better to pass on this side I figured. Good luck bud. Thank you. Watching the clouds go by, drifting downstream with the wind. What a beautiful day! Absolutely beautiful day.
boy. I know it. Sun is out, so we're trying to absorb as much vitamin D as possible. Here is forest. It's like a pine forest over here. Check it out. I think that might have been a funeral. Maybe a few uh, rest in peace. The bagpipes are just wonderful, yeah? We'll be here in Scotland on the Spey River solo, traveling through and the bagpipes in the background, it just gives me goosebumps, you know? This is where I want to camp, guys. I think this is the island. Just looking for a good, uh, good access point. Oh, right here. It's gotta be this. It's gotta be here. That's gotta be it, man. Yeah, baby. The wind is picking up like mad.
So distance for today is somewhere here. Looking forward tomorrow as the rapids start building in intensity. Today we got a little taster. That was really fun. So I'm actually looking forward to a little bit more adrenaline. Thanks for watching guys as always. And I will see you tomorrow nice and early for more adventure. Good night guys. Morning guys, it's about 5 a.m. now. I woke up around 4.15. Had a very good night's sleep actually. Feel rested, I know it's super early, but I feel like kind of ready to go. I've also cleaned up my fireplace over there. It used to be there, but as you can see, it all looks the same as the forest floor. So I've daisy chained it like that. That's gonna sit nicely on top of the boat. And then if we tip and I'm scrambling, I just take the rope there. That would all come undone like that. Yeehaw! Yes! So I didn't bring my fishing gear uh, on purpose. I love fishing so much, but I really wanted to be focused on the paddling 100% here. My boot drying there, my sock. See if I can air it out and uh, dry it a bit. I think this might be the king's hut. It's a fishing hut that um, King Edward VII used to use amongst other royalty. Get into the main flow here. Yeah, baby. Yeehaw! Oh, wave! Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> it's an island over there. Just want to use that landmark though to see if I can if I can find myself in the map. I'm gonna change my paddle so I don't screw up the wooden one. There we go. I use the wooden one on the calm, deeper stretches, and then this one you can just bash it when you need it. So good for the rapids and stuff, you know. Must be good camping here for sure. Great spot. Look at that. Look at that eddy over there. Anybody coming across this river would consider that as a takeout spot. Oh, 
this job. morning all right quick shower time oh yeah Woo. Ah, it's cold check this out guys so these are freshwater uh, mussels and they produce pearls. It's actually enforced by police. If anybody's seen uh, getting the pearls, you know, you can uh, go to jail. They're really endangered and I think this is one of the last few places in the world where they have the freshwater clams. The salmon transport the eggs of the, of the mussels uh, upstream through their gills. Uh, so, well, there's less salmon as well, so I guess the population is even more endangered. Look at that, big, big shell, very cool. I hope you breed lots, buddy. I think we're a few kilometers from uh, Nokando Rapids should be the biggest so far in the trip. Actually looking forward to it. A little bit more adrenaline. I'm ready for them. So bring them on.
absolutely beautiful guys absolutely beautiful being in nature being exposed to the elements a little bit and Hey presto, your soul is fixed. So scenic. The scenery, man. Wow. That's mad. So beautiful. So I've left the, the canoe back there and I'm gonna walk about 200 meters. I'm gonna explore a little bit, see if I can find a nice spot. Okay, found my spot. This is gonna be home. It's super sheltered, there's tons of firewood. This is a spot. Now we don't walk back to the canoe and reference the point where I need to get out of the river so I find this spot again. There she is. Don't worry for a second. I stashed my canoe in there. Well guys, another super awesome day comes to an end. Um, the rapids were amazing. It was rapid after rapid after rapid. I think we covered a lot of distance. We covered however much. I put it somewhere here, I think. I'm gonna cook up some dinner now and hit the bed early so we can uh, start the day early tomorrow as well. Good night, guys. I don't mind the wind, I just, I don't want a tree landing on my head, you know. That would be a shit way to die, man. So that guy line, that, that flew out already. Hopefully no, no Widowmakers here, guys. There goes another guy line. There goes the second one. Okay, I really gotta reinforce them, man. So I've reinforced the... Uh, hammock with some rocks tie this one to the tree to a big massive log tie that one reinforce that one yeah so spend a good 10-15 minutes uh, watching the trees and watching the ones that if they could fall over where they where they would fall and okay 9 30 and i just heard a big branch fall off i heard that noise like boom 
out to the ground. I immediately jumped out of the of the hammock to go outside to look. Pretty scary, man. It's scary. This one's creaking. This one's definitely creaking, man. You just stay awake the whole night. Too dangerous. Too freaking dangerous, man. I feel like a sitting duck, you know? I'm just sitting here. If I'm going, I'm going in a cooler way. I'm not getting killed by a damn tree, man. That's the pathetic. Falling off a glacier or into a volcano, you know, something cool like that would be fine, but not squashed by a by a freaking tree, man. God. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get on the water. Let's have a big day ahead. Let's do this, guys. What a beautiful day, it's absolutely gorgeous right now. This wasn't in the forecast, I thought it was supposed to rain. I, I'm sure it will. It's uh, 8.28, we got on the water really early. Winds coming from the west today, as predicted, and uh, yeah, I can see some some gnarly clouds coming. Check this out, guys. That's the freshwater clam. That's a live one. It was coming out like that, and <clears throat> as I reached into him, he uh, he went into his shell. So those are the ones that apparently um, have freshwater pearls. That people poach them and uh, really endanger it. So we'll put this guy back exactly where he was. Good to see one at least and uh, hopefully they'll reproduce. salmon jumping here what determination has been uh, hardwired into their brain as a survival instinct to, uh, to go upstream to keep fighting the current all the way through to spawn you know maybe we can learn a couple things from the salmon
sausage cooked yesterday, a little bit of bagel together. than the fishermen, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just finding it on the side. It's a big fish. Wow, it's so heavy, man. It torpedo, man. Ah. They used to be bigger, no? Yeah, that's... See, they, they, I think the record here is 65 pounds. four or five kilometers from Bay Bay. Let's finish it. myself an awesome uh, place over here guys oh they don't make them like this anymore huh oh yeah as of today it's no longer here coming with me right now I saw a seal 
fishing around here for fish. Oh, I can smell the ocean now. I can smell the sea. The conditions aren't good now to go paddle in the ocean. Sometimes if the conditions are right, you can paddle out, out of the bay and come back in. Yes, we made it. We made it guys. How awesome. Stay bay. It's good to be here. This is where all the water from the from the spay comes down and this is the mouth of the river spay. Let's check out the ocean guys, right there. Get ready, get ready, listen to this. Listen up. What a magical noise. Oh man, I am freaking cold now, man. I'm completely, completely wet. I better sort out some shelter or something and uh, get warm while we're here. Might as well do a bit of rubbish collection. So my ride is actually tomorrow morning. So I came here, I got here a bit early and I scoped around and there's no, um, no camping spots at all here. So I'm gonna get back into the canoe, uh, paddle it up one kilometer and hopefully try and find a good uh, campsite to um, weather out the, the time until the pickup is here tomorrow morning. Okay, now go. Can't make it upstream. Current's too strong to go back there. So, plan C. Plan A was to camp there at Spay Bay. Plan B was to go back up river. Plan C, I don't know yet. I'll let you know soon. A very kind paddler that just did the same route um, has lent me her trolley and this is going to get me 700 to 800 meters to the campsite her tires were deflated it was impossible to it was almost better to carry the canoe so i made it this far this is where i am this is our pitch guys pretty cool over here and the, the ocean is up there over there it's supposed to gust to uh, 40 kilometers an hour. I can sleep with the wind knowing that nothing will fall on my head. That's just fantastic. So glad I brought the, the beach net, some bugs out here. And this is awesome, man. Totally relaxes you. Mwah. I love you, dry socks. Thank you for being part of my life right now. Yes. I'm gonna get some uh, water for the night. The wind's already picking up. Rose hips, look. Nice. You can eat them, but just not don't eat the seeds. It's got a ton of vitamin C as well. I think the trip comes to an end here. It's been a, an amazing five, six days, 120 kilometers, lots of river lots of wildlife thank you for joining me on the adventure i hope you enjoyed it as much as i do and i see you on the next one over and out if you like this sort of adventure please subscribe and i see you on the next one thank you for watching guys have a great day